Hi, part three in our stress series. And I'm just gonna go over some basic tools for stress management. Hopefully something on this list will be helpful for you, will speak to you. Um, so number one, when we're considering stress, we wanna learn or pay attention to the people, places, and things that are stressing us out. Notice the root or the issue of stress. Um, be responsible for what we can change. The good old um, serenity prayer says, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change and the courage to change the things I can. There's a very real reason why this statement has been so helpful for so many people for decades. Uh, number three, deal with your feelings as they come. Notice the emotions. From a dialectical behavioral point of view, we can understand that emotions are like clouds in the sky and we notice them and we just sense into them, trusting that they will pass by and the next cloud will come. So we just wanna be with our emotions as they are and as we experience them. Number four, consider your feelings about your feelings. As we're noticing that a feeling going by or with experiences occurring, how do I feel about that? How do I consider it? What's my story about this emotion that makes it easy to endure or uncomfortable to endure? Number five, express your feelings, whether that's through journaling, talking to other people, listening to music, somehow, let's express these emotions. Number six, choose your battles. We don't want to fight everything. It's hard. We're stressed. It's way easier to be irritable about all these things. Let's not fight about everything. Number seven, let go. Some things we can just let go of. Number eight, take a break. Press pause. You can always press play again. Number nine, talk things through with your partner, with someone in your family. Get on Zoom, get on FaceTime. Go for a socially distant walk with somebody. Um, number 10, find people who can relate that ties back in. Reach out to somebody that feels safe, that you have a sense will understand or will listen to you talk this through. Number 11, confront the situation or the person that has caused the stress. There's an appropriate place to bring it up. Choose the battle if you need to choose the battle. Um, so going on, number 12, self-care. Just take some time to take care of ourself. What do I need to do for me? 13, hopefully you're socially quarantined or socially distancing in a bubble with other people. Hug, hug for, I think it's 30 seconds. Get some oxytocin going in your body. Feel that co-regulation. That is so good for our stress. Continuing on add more structure, get some sleep, take a nap. You can take a nap. S six to eight hours of sleep a night is essential right now. Exercise, eat well, consult your doctor, your psychologist, somebody who's supporting your mental and physical well-being. If you haven't connected with your support team, your doctor in particular, it's probably a really good idea to consider just touching in and making sure that your doctor is aware of how you're doing with the stress. Find time to be quiet every day, even if it's just for a moment, and connect with relaxing hobbies. Make time to play. Play is really important. Have a mini YouTube dance party. That's an easy way to play, especially if you have kids. Three minutes listening to a Disney song or some music from the 90s, get your kids hopping around with you, it's good for your stress. Simplify your life. Are there complicating things that were going on for you prior to this pandemic that you're being challenged on? Maybe get rid of some of those things. Declutter your life with stuff, with emotion, with the too much over-consuming attitude that we have been lost in and above all take care of you breathe meditate pray listen to music get creative and be present in your life let's all be here now 
let's be in the vessel of our body and just be really responsible to take care of us. We want to be preventative, you know, six months down the road, enduring the stress and the accumulation of all the stress we're under. It's really important that we get in front of this. All right, you guys, hopefully you enjoyed this mini stress series. I'm sure I'll be talking about stress again. Take care. Bye.